Alrighty, howdy guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing good. This is my new channel because my other one is shadow banned and yeah, it's literally not gonna reach anybody because I got strikes and whatnot. So I'm just starting this new, ch new YouTube channel fresh. I hope y'all are doing good. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about spiritual matters. Um, so when you're dealing with a narcissist, you're dealing with someone who is literally being used by Satan, okay? These people do not have to understand that they're being used by Satan the same way people do not have to understand that they're being used by God. It says in the book of 1 Corinthians, it says, make, oh, here it is, didn't you realize that you were God's temple and the Spirit of God was living among you? If anybody should destroy the temple of God, God will destroy him because the temple of God is sacred and you are that temple. We are literally God in the flesh, okay? We are God in the flesh. It says right there, may, uh, didn't you realize that you were God's temple and that the Spirit of God was living among you in the temple, okay? The same way the devil lives among us in his temple. And he uses his people to attack, kill, steal, and destroy the people who are even thinking about following God. The truth of the matter is that the devil is using these people to gaslight you, to manipulate you, to make you question God, to make you question who you are, to make you question your reality, and make you not want to live at some points. Because uh, literally you will notice a lot of these narcissists they don't even realize they're being used by the devil like they genuinely believe what they're saying a lot of the times they think that they are serving God I mean the religious narcissists are in my opinion the most evil and the worst type of narcissist that you can deal with but we are dealing with things on a spiritual level these people have doors open to willful sin and this is how the devil is able to use you okay when you especially in sexual immoralities what i have noticed about god is god detests god hates sexual immoralities okay that is one of the worst sins any type of sexual immorality because this is his dwelling place but the same way you can be possessed by the demons these the, the spirit of the antichrist the devil you can be possessed the same way Whenever God uses you, you can continue to grow in wisdom and knowledge and grow the spirit of God in you. You can grow that spirit. This is the same way the satanic kingdom works. You start off sinning little by little and eventually it's these demons that are, you just become a dwelling place for demons because you don't repent, you don't turn away from your sin. Anger of God is being revealed from heaven against all impurities and depravities of men who keep truth imprisoned in their wickedness. These people are keeping truth imprisoned in their wickedness. Just like it says in the Bible that you have a form of godliness but you deny it. They have a form of godliness, but they're denying it because they want to continue in their perpetual sin, in their willful sin. So they're denying the truth. For what can be known about God is perfectly plain to them, since God himself has made it plain. Ever since God created the world, his everlasting power and deity, however invisible, have been there for the mind to see in the things he has made. That is why such people are without excuse. These people are without an excuse because God comes to you. God comes to you in ways that, you know, will tell you when you can't sleep at night when you have this feeling that something is wrong, God will give you the feeling something is wrong, something is not right here. God will give you that feeling, but you will deny it. You will continue on in your sin and you're opening your temple, opening up where God is supposed to be for the devil to use you. And the devil is going to attack. The devil is going to use you to attack God's people. Something you may have never wanted to do. You may have wanted to serve God, but you chose to continue living in willful sin. So therefore you got turned over to a reprobate mind and when you turned up when you get turned over to a reprobate mind it says you're steeped in all sorts of depravities the sad thing about being turned over to a reprobate mind is you like almost lose your mind you lose all like godliness in you so it's very hard to get back 
to where you need to be because you're like literally dep deprived. Like you have so many like evil thoughts and so many um, wicked things running through your mind, like delusions and stuff. Like you, the devil will convince you that you're right. And this is all your fault, by the way. It's your fault because you refuse to acknowledge God. You refuse to acknowledge God so God leaves you to your own irrational ideas and monstrous behavior. God himself has made it plain. Ever since God created the world, his everlasting power and deity, however invisible, have been there for the mind to see and the things he has made. That is why such people are without an excuse. They knew God and yet refused to honor him as God or thank him. Instead, they made nonsense out of logic. This is before they're turned over to a reprobate mind. These people make nonsense out of logic. And it says, and their empty minds were darkened. They were darkened just to explain to you that the way God works is God gives you chances. God has grace, but you get so far on the end of that spectrum with the devil and his demons that, you know, you, you never turned away and acknowledged God. So you just keep getting further and further away from God. And that's your own fault because God has grace. God gives you space to repent. So whenever you're an empath and you're dealing with these type of spirits, God does not want you to deal with these type of spirits. God does not want you to put up with these type of spirits. It's called the Jezebel spirit. It's a narcissist antichrist spirit. I have one thing against you because you suffer as that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophet. Okay, these are like narcissist reprobate minds who literally are leading people astray because narcissists and reprobate mind people want to be followed, okay? They want you to worship them. Why do they want you to worship them? Think about that real deep because the devil's living in them. And what does the devil want more than anything? To be worshiped, to be praised. And that is why that's happened. So next time you're trying to please the narcissist, next time you're trying to Please, honey, are you okay? What can I do for you? I'll fix this. I'll fix that. I'll clean this. I'll do that. I'll change this. I'll change that. Think about God first. And yes, there are things in your life that you're going to need to change. You're going to need to fix things. You're going to need to better yourself because, you know, an empath can't use excuses either. You know, we have to be real with ourselves and realize that we are serving a false god when we are serving a narcissist when we are living for a narcissist when we're living in fear and anxiety and all that stuff because of the narcissist you're serving the devil you're not serving god at that point anymore you guys and i'll talk to you soon bye